Alright guys, so there is some huge speculation going on right now. If you follow Reddit or any of the Bitcoin forums, um, you'll see what everybody's saying. I mean, and this is kind of clear as soon as you see it, is that these Antminer V9s are just the old Antminer S7s with a new sticker on it and trying to get rid of everything that they have in there. Now let's do a little comparison, all right? So this is right from the Bitmain site. And I'm gonna go to the parameters of the new V9. And you'll see here that they have 135 chips, but they're calling the B1580. Okay, nice. So let's go to the old Antminer specs and let's take a look real quick. The Antminer S7. So it's saying that it has 162, 13858 chips. Okay, so that's not so bad. So now the chips, now, they're saying two different things, right? So the hash chip type is saying it's different. The total quantity of hash chips is saying it's different. But one thing that's bothering me is if we go to the dimensions of this casing. So this casing is unique than the other casings, and I'll show you again in a second. If we look at this casing, again, this is on the amp minor V9. And we look at the casing on the Antminer S7, it's 301-123-155. Again, 301-123-155. Now, did they just change the firmware and tell us that there's this many chips in there and this is the actual chipset that was changed? Who knows? That's why it's up for speculation. Um, but this is what I'm seeing here. And, you know, if we even go look at um, the Antminer S9, we can compare and see the difference. So let's look and let's look at the S9. Actually, that's not going to help us. Let's go right here, let's go to the S9 specs. Look at that, 350, 135, 158. Again, let's go back to the S7, 301, 123. Go back to the V9, 301, 123. What about the A3? Now the A3, 321, 125, 208. So guys, I mean, you do the math. Same casing, I mean, I'm not saying that it is, I'm not saying it's not, but hey, 